who are new to the sport because their daughter has picked it up, say, in, uh, later in high school or in college, and they're always saying to each other, I have no idea what's going on out there. I, I have no idea the rules to this game. I, I don't know. What, what, what are they doing now? They can kick the ball? And uh, I thought, you know, that's a lot like what people feel like when they listen to the Doug Padger radio program, religious radio that's not quite right. Although they it's not like regular religious radio. No. And it's not like real radio. It, it just You say to yourself, they're playing by a whole other set of rules over there. Well, uh, other than uh, radio scrum, they might think of it as radio chum. <laughs> Which is that a fishing? Is that a, is, that, is that a large game fishing reference? That uh, yeah, it's, like it's a dead fish in a, this pool, this bucket of no, no, no. This is this is athletic, mm-hmm. strong, yeah, uh, a tough, gritty, yeah, and you don't know what's going on. No. Radio, <laughs> that's right. It's rugby radio. <laughs> going around over here. Hey, uh, we want to wish all of you a uh, a happy Hallow's Eve. Mm-hmm. You know, Halloween is actually a religious holiday. A lot of people don't don't know that. It was th- in, in religious holidays that there's been a need for for the non-religious, for the for the say the wills of the world, mm-hmm. to push back on the religion a little bit, right? Because when you have All Hallows Eve, which was the de- which was the or, I'm sorry, when you have All Saints Day, All Saints Day is the day that you honor the saints of the religious tradition. Well, then people got to push back a little bit. It's like it's like going into Lent where you got to have a little Mardi Gras before you give up all of your um, your vices for for Lent. There's always that pushback. So All Hallows Eve gets to be that time when you say, okay, you've got all the saints on November first. Most of us we don't we don't honor All Saints Day. Yeah. We've sort of stopped that, and we just have the counter pull, <laughs> which is uh, well, maybe you're going to be haunted by by ghouls and goblins and and dead dead creatures. But maybe we need to sex up uh, All Saints Day a little bit. It needs a little little makeover somehow. Yeah, we need, we need to make a big deal out of that. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's like having Christmas Eve without a Christmas Day. Yeah. You know, it's like right. having New Year's Eve without a New Year's Day. Halloween without All Saints Day, people don't know, you yeah. know what's up. Mm-hmm. Well, we're, we're going to bring the Hallow's Eve today because we have a fella, uh, an author, uh, uh, um, um, a, uh, a scholar, a man who is, who is a professor of his own field named Scott Poole. And Scott has written a book called Monsters in America, where he talks about the role of, uh, of terror and, and nightmares and scary things and ghoul, ghouls and goblins in our culture. And he suggests some very interesting things, that we need these in our culture, that we have to have zombies and monsters and scary. So stick around for the second hour, and we're going to talk to Scott Poole. And before that, we're going to be joined by Rabbi Melissa Weintraub. Mm-hmm. Melissa is a rabbi. And we're going to ask her about uh, women being rabbis because some one of the three of us here on the radio cast mm-hmm. on Sunday afternoons wasn't aware that women could be rabbis. And I think it was probably the hellbound unbeliever in the engineer's booth. It was for sure the denier. Mm-hmm. Will, uh, hey, hey, Will, how's your week? Uh, it's been uh, fun and exciting so yes, far. Yes, yes. Yeah. Now, Will, Until we just right have now. fun. We just have fun <laughs> with Will. Have no problem with someone being an atheist mm-hmm. and being a part of the show. So we we don't want to tease you too much. I appreciate the welcoming environment. Thank you. We're just yeah. we're ju- we're just having fun with the fallen pastor, John Music, the sidekick. Hello. The radio show, heretic, <laughs> and the uh, and the unbeliever. So uh, Melissa's going to be joining us today with the rabbi, and then you got it all right. Yeah. A fallen pastor, a right. radio show host, an atheist, and a rabbi walk into a radio station. Right. What do you get? Yes. Yeah. Or a, you're about to find out in the second <laughs> in the second segment. Load up that rim shot, Will. <laughs> We're going to be full of it. So Rabbi uh, Melissa Weintraub, she is a scholar, and she does a bunch of work on this Israeli-Palestinian issue, mm-hmm. which I know there's some people who are like, boy, you know what, if I have to hear another thing about how I'm responsible for the, <laughs> for the strife of these ancient cultures, you I'm going to— You mean if you have to hear another <laughs> thing about All right. that. I have, I have great empathy. Let's put it this way. I have great empathy for people who just keep saying to ourselves, I don't know what more I can do about it. You have great empathy for the apathy of those who don't care about this issue. I do. I have, I have apathy empathy <laughs> for the people who don't know what to do about these international, religious, cultural, global conflicts. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I mean, I understand that we have people in our government who are supposed to solve these things. Yeah. I just don't know what I'm supposed to do about it. So we're going <laughs> to ask Rabbi Melissa Weintraub. She's going to be here because she's in town. Yeah. She's a, I mean, she's a highfalutin scholar. She, oh, she travels around the world. She yeah. tells people what's up. Mm-hmm. Well, she's going to be joining us because she's going to be in the Twin Cities yeah. on um, Wednesday of this week. You can and go she's see her over live. at the O'Shaughnessy <laughs> Educational Center that is a part of the University of St. Thomas that is uh, a part of the J. Uh, J. Phillips Center on Interfaith Learning. So if more people could drop their names into that little thing. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Rabbi Melissa Weintraub They're over at the O'Shaughnessy Educational Center for the J. Phillips That's Center part on Religious Dialogue. That's part of the, the, the Brandon Blyden 
foundation, foundation that's part of the Roberta and Ted Mann Foundation. There's still room on the side of the building, <laughs> folks. So if you need to cut a check to the university. Of St. Thomas. Yeah. That guy, he started it all, that St. Thomas, on All Saints Day. We're going to honor him on the 1st of, uh, of November. But anyway, M Melissa is a rabbi. She does a bunch of great work, so stick around. She's going uh, to be joining us. And as always, the voices you've been hearing from, uh, from our only professional around here, Will, the producer, board operator guy. You did have a good week, honestly? I did. You know, I got to meet uh, Bernie Sanders last night. Oh, you did? Yes. Where Hi was this? Highlight. What was, what was this about? Uh, it was the DFL Founders Party. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so I don't, the, I don't know who that is. He's a senator from Vermont. He's a self-appointed um, social Democrat or socialist Democrat. Yeah, you know who Bernie Sanders is. Yeah. I'm still drawing a blank. I think you're follow, yeah, if you followed a little bit of politics, you'd pick up on Bernie Sanders. I think you'd know who he is. Okay, I'll get started tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be on. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, Bernie's a, he's a player and shaker okay. in, the, uh, in the political scene. Well, good for you, Will. I didn't mean to steal your thunder. Yeah, yeah, but that sounds awesome. And John, uh, John Music, the sidekick around here, also the producer of the show. Yes. Uh, how was your week? You know, I had a really, really good week. Yeah, how are you feeling? I know this morning you, you, you started to feel a bit foolish. I, just some, I, think, you know, I think my waitress roofied me at the old original pancake house. I just feel dizzy. My joints ache. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. I may have cancer. Hey, if you, if you wanted to see what this John music looks like, take <laughs> a look at the Facebook page on uh, Doug Padgett Radio. You know, you should be following the Doug Padgett. If, if you like the show. Yeah. Three or four of you. Head over to the Facebook page, the <laughs> Doug Padger Radio Facebook page. And uh, you can see all our guests that are coming up. You can follow these links that we talk about on the program. And you can see a picture of the sidekick yeah. from being all uh, all duded up. Yeah, for we a, saw uh, my daughter's play out. on Friday, so yeah. I got a little dressed up. So you had a busy weekend as well. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I did too. Not, not only did I go to the uh, soccer match yeah. out on the pitch mm -hmm. the other day to see my, my, my daughter. And by the way, they're playing right now Go Blue Golds. That's a horrible name. That's their it's their slogan. It's their uh, their mascot name, Blue Golds. What is that a flower or something? I, do, I don't know what a blue gold is. Their colors are blue and gold. Oh well, that takes a lot of imagination there. Yeah, so they're the blue golds. I guess, but Wisconsin's really maybe it's a flower, a bee, or a bird, nation. or something. Yeah. But it doesn't sound very, very, very ferocious. No, <laughs> like no one's gonna be afraid of the blue golds. <laughs> right, right, right. Go primary colors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, not not only that, but uh, I went to this thing called the Bare Bones. Uh, Halloween last night, which oh, yeah? is puppet theater, mm -hmm. big puppet theater over in Hidden Hidden Lake Park or Hidden Falls Park. Do you know about this? Been going for 18 years. Oh. Will you're nodding your head as he, if you know about this? I was there last year, actually. It's you really were. interesting, isn't it? It was. It's it's puppetry, large puppetry in this yeah. big extravaganza. Happens tonight. Happens again tomorrow night. So if you want to go, look up Bare Bones theater dot com I think it is or barebones dot org. Uh, Google bare bones Halloween in Minneapolis and I mean it was it was it was sort of Renaissance Festival and May Day parade sort of meets pagan <laughs> worship stuff, right? I mean it was it was trippy. Like two thousand people out there at this what? thing and there was a there was a big there, there was a big fire and there was an orchestra and giant puppets. I thought it was like in the backyard of some hippie's house or something. No, no, it's in the backyard of the Lord's house. Oh down my. there on the river. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's out in uh, out in nature. So, you know, it was uh you should head over there if you if you're interested in that kind of thing at all. It's uh, all part of the Halloween culture. Puppet fans Boy, do we have something for you. Hey, and those of you who are looking for top-notch craft fair, those of you who say to yourself, I like handcrafted. I, I like a handcrafted life. I like handcrafted supplies. I like handcrafted art. Mm -hmm. There's a giant citywide art fair happening November 13th. You're going to hear about this on the show, but I want to let you know. November 13th in South Minneapolis, over in the corner of Blaisdell and 46th, okay. there is, uh, I don't know, probably the city's finest art Ooh. fair. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna be going on over there, and we're gonna we're we're gonna check in with those folks. They do some good work, and we're sure. gonna. So mark your calendars now, November thirteenth, forty sixth in Blaisdell. That's just west of Nicollet Avenue, on forty sixth. You should head over there on November thirteenth. But hey, stick with us here on, on the radio program. We're gonna have uh, Rabbi Melissa Weintraub is gonna be joining us, and she's gonna talk about what's going on in uh, Palestine, in Israel, and what we can do about that. She's gonna be in town here next week, and then stick around through the rest of the uh, show until noon when Scott Poole joins us. Monsters in America. Religion, Halloween, important things, and a little bit of fun. John Bradley, stop making muskies late for stuff. <laughs> Doug Padgett Radio on AM 950 and over there at DougPadgettRadio.com and on Facebook, of course, at Facebook.com slash Radio. Hey, stick with us over the break and, and, and listen to the uh, advertisers. The advertisers oh, yeah. make all this possible. They Unless do. you want to write a check. 
<laughs> so, yeah, we'll cut all the commercials. <laughs> That's right. Try to check the AM 950, pay for the whole thing. Or join us on our commercials here on AM 950 and DougPagerRadio.com. <laughs>